Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back as always, welcome back. Today I'm very excited to do an unboxing or I suppose maybe a bit of an untubing with you. Um, this is a kit that I have been very, very much looking forward to and cannot wait to share with all of you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Look how pretty this is packaged. Fragile and of love. And it's very possible that you've already seen some of my fellow fabulous YouTube content creators unbox kits from this particular company. You might recognize what you're seeing. Um, this is from the wonderful, wonderful Sparkle Queen Creations. Ugh, come on, okay. <laughs> and Sparkle Queen Creations is um, Mitzi. And she has, she's an artist herself, and she has been self-publishing her diamond paintings and had a first round of releases a little while ago. And then the second time around, this one just was really speaking to me and I could not wait to get my hands on it. So this is part of the pre-orders. And I don't know if you can totally see, welcome to SQC. Thank you, Katie. Heart Mitzi. Aw, cute. Now, if you're not familiar with Sparkle Queen Creations and Mitzi over there, her thing is rainbows. Rainbow everything. Okay, this was just filler. Um, rainbow everything. And it's glorious and incredible. <laughs> and I'm so excited to share this with all of you. Oh my gosh, goodies. Oh my gosh, goodies. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. And I am always a huge fan of when creators or diamond painters or artists decide to self-publish and open their own small shops. And so everything in Mitzi's shop, she has either created herself, like the artwork is artwork that she has done herself, or she's licensed it. So she did start licensing from one other artist, sorry about that, in particular, starting with this past release. And you guys, <laughs> it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So let's take a look at what all we have. So cute. Okay, new loyalty program. Receive a cover minder in the next color of the rainbow with each new order that includes a kit. Cute, so this is my first order. So red, love that. That's an adorable little minder. Okay, and then we have Skittles. Oh, <laughs> fun, <laughs> taste it. The rainbow, of course. <laughs> Love that, Mitzi. And then there's a note in here that's, we hope you enjoy your crown cover minder custom made for Sparkle Queen Creations. Check out other diamond painting accessories in Sparkle Queen Creations shop and in our Etsy page. So from the 3D Viking, I wonder if that's what this is. I have a feeling that is what, what this is. Let's take a look. And I'm letting this double-sided adhesive just rest for a moment before we get into it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look how incredible this is. That's amazing. So it's a cover minder that you can use to collect trash drills. It's got the little magnet on the bottom. This looks like it was 3D printed, but look at that rainbow effect. I'm obsessed. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for including that goodie. Okay, so here we go. This is the toolkit. So did you know your pen is sealed with glow in the dark glue? What? Okay. Thank you for your pre-order. To show my appreciation, you'll find an exclusive cover minder that is also a trash tray. I hope you enjoy your order, Mitzi. So yeah, yes, that's what that was. And this pre-order was a few months back, I believe. Oh my gosh, okay. Lots of goodies in here. All of the like branding and packaging is just above and beyond. I love it. So here we go. Hello, sparklers. Welcome to the amazing world of resin drills. These high quality drills have a fantastic sparkle. Yes, okay. Resin drills are really fantastic quality. I definitely gravitate towards them. We have some stickers, of course, rainbowy. And here's our business card. Sparkle Queen Creations, be the queen of your sparkle. Here's all of her socials. Of course, I'm going to link to those as well as to her website and shop below. Okay, apparently this glows in the dark. <laughs> I'm not gonna have the chance to test this out just quite yet, but I do like that she did go ahead and include a multi-placer, which you can use on these 
skinny pens, but how fun a touch is that? Cute. Um, hello, new favorite tweezers. Do you guys see this? Oh my gosh. Wow. And they're branded as well, but like that iridescent though? Yes. So they're not the super pointy ones. They're a little bit more blunt on the end, but that is A-OK -okay with me. This, oh my gosh, this is wax with an adorable heart on it. So this does peel off so you can, you know, save the heart and use that blue wax. And then we have a white tray or boat. Perfect. Absolutely everything you need to get started with diamond painting. Okay, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so I will go ahead and show you the thumbnail so you can see what we're looking at. And then we'll peel back the cover and take a look. So this is the stunning piece that I ordered. And I don't remember the exact name of it. I am so sorry. I see an inventory sheet in with the drills. I'm going to take a look at that as soon as we're done looking at this piece. Or maybe, yeah, there it is. It is. It's at the bottom. This is Heart Air Balloon. And this is from the Howie Green. Love that. Oh, look at the signature at the bottom. Love that. This is licensed. Mitzi has licensed some pieces from Howie Green, and that's this one. It's so pretty. We have branding here up at the top. And we have an inventory list, or um, a legend over here on the side. And the color that we see here, that's gonna be, I believe, the equivalent of a DMC code. And all these symbols. We'll take a look at the canvas and see what we think of the symbols as well. Now this is double-sided adhesive which you might have been able to tell from the white cover on top, the solid white cover. And double-sided adhesive can be a little bit more finicky to work with but I've worked on double-sided adhesive canvases in fact with the same exact branding of the cover on it and I have not had major issues with it. So the thing to keep in mind is that you want to peel back the cover on double-sided adhesive slowly. Um, this is going to prevent any bubbles or rivers from forming. If you peel it back too fast, that can be a little bit problematic. Now I will admit I am not a double-sided adhesive expert <laughs> at all. Most of my kits are on poured glue, but like I said, I've had really positive experiences with double-sided adhesive canvases I have worked on for the most part. This looks absolutely perfect. My goodness. So I'm gonna peel this most of the way back, but not quite because I really don't wanna to have to try to replace this <laughs> if I peel it all the way off. That's definitely a suggestion I would make is don't peel it all the way off because it's a pain to get back on. So I'm gonna go almost all the way to the top. Look how stunning this is. And you guys, this double-sided adhesive, there is not a single wrinkle or bubble to be had at all. Like, oh my gosh, that feels, well, not feels, it looks perfect. Um, my gosh, this looks so pretty. Of course, it's rainbowy. Um, let's take a look at some of the symbols, which you guys, these are crystal clear. Absolutely crystal clear. I'm gonna bring you down instead of trying to bring the canvas to you. Let's take a closer look. All right, so these symbols are crystal, crystal clear with maybe the very minor exception of these just right here. Those blues, this is just a tiny bit of faint printing. What symbol do we think that is? I think that that's going to be this anchor symbol there, I think. And we have kind of a swirly symbol here. Yes, that will be, oh, you can't see, this right here. So it's, oops. <laughs> keep setting my shirt in it. So this, that's the only one that gives me a tiny bit of pause right there. But if that's the only one that looks like that, and you know what? It looks a little bit more clear without the glare of my um, lighting. That is the only one that I am seeing that's giving me a little hesitation. The rest of these are looking really great. Here's the top of the canvas. And the background is all 
one color. Color blocking, I bet that's gonna go fairly quickly in the background in particular. And I got this in round drills, though I don't, I want to say I don't think that she has any square drills just yet. I will double check on that though. And then here we go at the bottom. Let me show you the bottom as well. And here we go. Now, one of the things I love about this is that from what I've heard Mitzi say, she and some fellow local diamond painters, they test out these canvases and they actually work on them. And so they're tweaking the rendering as they go and making sure that it is as true to the original artwork as possible and they can catch any sort of weird, random like symbols or colors that don't quite make sense. So I cannot wait to see how this turns out. All right, let me pull you guys back out and we're gonna take a look at the drills. All right, also gonna go ahead and recover this for us. I think that the way that this was packaged and rolled and put in that really sturdy cylinder for mailing, I think that that made a really, really big difference as far as there being no damage to the adhesive. I'm just pulling back from this side as well, just so I can help it lay flat, just like the rest of the canvas, and there we go. All right, oops, little bubble in the cover there. Like I said, I'm not a double-sided adhesive expert, so please take everything that I'm saying and doing with that grain of salt. Um, yeah, just in case. So we have a bag of drills that also is gonna come with an inventory sheet. Let's take a quick look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys. Before I pull them all out, can we talk about how these were put into rainbow order? How stinking adorable is that? And I'm sure that that was Mitzi's doing. <laughs> everything is rainbow, everything's in rainbow order. Love it. All right, so I am gonna mess all of it up. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here is an inventory sheet. So it has all the info, including the licensing. This is a 40 by 55 centimeter round drill kit. This is gonna tell us the quantity of each drill in the kit. And it has some instructions for diamond painting. And yes, this is a good tip about static. A little bit of dryer sheet will take care of any static you run into. And look, she has more tips on her website. That's a great addition, Mitzi, love that. Let's take a look at the drills themselves. We have a giant bag. I'm quite sure this is the background. 3761, it looks like. And look at there's this rainbow of colors. I hate to have messed it all up, but we have our reds and pinks. You guys. Okay, well, I'm not typically a personal fan of the drills that come in these tiny baggies because it feels like a lot of extra plastic. It's okay. I understand that that's how a lot of these just by nature are going to come. And I'm not going to harp on something like that, especially from a small business like. Um, like Mitzi at Sparkle Queen. Again, I just am so thrilled to see people self-publishing and, and making a priority out of licensed artwork. And I love that Mitzi's an artist and has brought some of her own artwork to the shop. And that's definitely something I want to try next time. Look at those greens. The drill quality looks really good from what I'm seeing. I think I've worked with drills like these before, like maybe from this particular manufacturer. And especially with round drills, I don't really see problems. We have a little bit of 310. I didn't know there was 310 in this one. There's no 310 in the rainbow. <laughs> I kid, I kid. More blues, those are really pretty. Oh my goodness, the colors in this. I definitely, definitely want to work on this one soon, you guys. More blues. Then we have blues into purples and then just a little bit of gray. You guys, these colors, who wouldn't want to work on this glorious rainbow of color? That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna do a really quick inventory on these just to make sure that everything is here using the inventory sheet. And yeah, I'll, I'll check back with you. Okay. 
okay, so everything is here. And can we please talk about this rainbow of color? I am here for it. <laughs> so yes, we have all of the drills that we need. And this piece has 38 colors. It's going to be incredible, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. So the one other thing that I wanted to make sure that I did that I did not do earlier is I do want to do a quick measurement and see how this is measuring size wise. So as I mentioned, this should be 40 by 55 centimeters. And I can see under the white paper, the drill field. So let's measure that. And I have just a tick shy of 40. And then the tiniest tick shy of 55. So we are definitely going to call that true to size because I always give a little bit of wiggle room. So you guys, <laughs> if you haven't had the chance to check out Sparkle Cream Creations, please, please, please go and check them out, especially because I'm guessing that Mitzi is just going to have more gorgeous pieces um, to come. And honestly, she still has some really incredible kits on her site right now. Please go and check them out. Um, you guys, if you like rainbows, you have to. To look at these kits you just you have to i've seen some other uh diamond pagers work on kits from her before and they've looked absolutely stunning and i cannot wait for the chance to work on this one hopefully that'll be sometime soon of course i'll keep you guys posted and do a post review as well but let me know down in the comments have you had the chance to check out sparkle queen creations yet have you picked up any of their kits for yourself um, are rainbows your thing? <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts. So, um, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. I hope that it was really helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up before you head on out. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing for more diamond painting content like this. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you to Mitzi over at Sparkle Queen Creations for putting together these really beautiful kits that have just such a lovely attention to detail. I mean, before we go, can we please talk about this crown again? <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. I hope you have a really wonderful week and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.